Good morning. Welcome back to Pikmin 3. Yesterday, we completed the first area, and I kind of realized how this the rest of the Let's Play should probably go. We have four areas available to us, and I should probably actually start working towards the end, because I think we are indeed getting close to the end. Uh, morning routine, I guess, but let's do it with some guests. Oh, you think you got this under control? Is that it, Jeff? No one can call, pull a fast one on me. Hmm. Here, I found this. I see, well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job, Jeff. Now, let's keep looking at this recipe book I found. I'm scouring it for ideas. Who to cook next? Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. Take some microplastics to fertilize your plants. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. There you are, the aforementioned token. That is my thanks for all your hard work. Oh ho! I don't think this is the voice for her. Oh yeah, she's new. It's fine, she can have the same voice. Everyone in this exact location has the same voice. Oh, so you're the one who had the good sense to rescue me. What was your name again? Was it J-Bone? Oh my, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. I am the accomplished musical genius, F-Money. Can you believe I joined the TV station on their spaceship only to end up in an awful crash? My cosmic talent was nearly lost. I believe my encounter with the ancient life of this planet was orchestrated by a muse of music. One might say a music. Nothing shows the heart of a culture like music. There's bound to be some musical treasures here to play on. Could I perhaps impose upon you to gather them for me? You are, we are both blonde. Thus you are the only one I can depend on. Unless someone else is blonde. I don't know who that would be. Oh, I had asked, I had planned to ask you to look for this treasure. How like you to have already started collecting, J-Bone. Oh. <laughs> it seems I am bearing witness to a small miracle. You started before I could even ask. Truly, a music smiles upon me. Please find more. I would like a 1,000 piece orchestra. And you have nine, so you are at least almost there. For all the things you built, please, you gotta take this. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Intriguing fact. When you use raw material, you'll get more raw material. It's a true perpetual motion building machine. Uh, uh-oh. That's a goal for building structures, and there is a cave in which I could have built a structure, and did not. Hopefully that won't bite me. In the who? The Orb of Destruction. There's something about this orb that makes one want to hit it with a stick in a moment of joyful abandon. Of course, such behavior is sure to spell trouble. I can see it now. The orb sent flying through the air, only to crash through the window of a neighboring home. Then the neighbor, failing to appreciate the gleeful innocence of the moment, unleashing a good old-fashioned tirade. No, no matter how fun it may seem, do not send this orb sailing through the air. Never play sports, kids. It will simply end in disaster. You want to see the face of a parent? Well, here it is. It's a commanding visage, no. And yet, somehow still warm and inviting. This doll, in her infinite wisdom, knows she must strike the perfect balance between strict expectations and external love. Empty vase. Look at this enormous vase, like a parent who's given too much to a child. It's completely empty. 
Is this all that remains of a sad story? Maybe. Maybe not. Only that parent can say whether giving so much brought them disappointment, or in fact, the greatest joy. Temporal mechanism. This piece of te technology doesn't work, so there's no way to confirm it, but I believe in my heart of hearts that it is part of a time machine. A foolish belief, maybe, but I have faith that the future holds many great things, and this is simply a sign of what's to come. Oh, I get why it doesn't work. I thought they just did, like, they failed to wind it. Oh, wait, I'm trying to observe it. I thought they, were, they just failed to wind it, but no, it, it stuck. That's sad. Aspiration Ritual Pole. This ritual pole was used during an ancient festival held at the start of each new year. If the ball landed on the sharp end, the people's wishes would come true and they would dance in celebration. Though it's commonly believed that the people danced either way. These balls were an integral part of, the, of a ritual performed during New Year ceremonies. Each ball was imbued with the people's hopes and dreams, and if caught by the ritual pole, these hopes and dreams were bound to come true. What a joy it must have been to witness such a beautiful tradition. Prickle Puff, to watch it swimming dreamily long, then spot it again with the walking piplop in tidal flats. The contrast is so great, I can only admire its adapted, adapt -ility, adaptability. But don't be drawn in by its cute, round little peepers. Much like a rose, the prickle puff has very sharp thorns. Moss. Ochi and Moss are two peas in a pod, thus confirming Ochi's alignment. It's quite unprecedented that a space dog should meet such a similar creature on a far-off, remote planet. You could even call it miraculous. Could they be siblings separated at birth? No, that's just not possible. These tiny white Pikmin can dart about quite swiftly. Their bold red eyes are as charming as they are startling. Like a flower that has sharp thorns, these cute little ones possess a potent poison. Such small creatures need to be tough to survive. Jeff taking damage isn't on my radar. Ochi taking damage has been happening, and uh, I think there was an enemy last time that like thirded his HP with one bite. So the healing doesn't really matter. How tough he is matters. And will actually make the healing better. I am never at my loneliest than when I am surrounded by people. I am an island. They are sharks. Or perhaps they are fish. Delicious and succulent. And best if prepared, ground and seasoned with all spice, salt and ground white pepper, pressed into meat satchels, then pan fried with onions. Prior to serving, I smother them with Dijon mustard and sauerkraut. Buns are optional. That's the spirit. Let's get started then. What? The Serene Shores. Working towards the end of the game. This is our perplexing pool. Let's go back here and get that 52% to a 100%. One of my favorite things that helps me get into the mood of, of recording Pikmin or, or Tears of the Kingdom is getting a comment on the series I'm about to record, on the day I record it. It just gets me back into that headspace, and... Wait, what is he saying? Wait, hold what? Hold up. Command? Gather... Oh, that's a... That's true! What is happening? What is... Is it going to take us back to the cave we completed? Uh, I don't need that. I'm not taking Pikmin with me because, I don't know, I am I can just get into the cave and do that. Although, maybe I don't want to do that. 
Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, 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 no. Ochi, Ochi, you're... Oh. Oh, wait, Ochi, get back here. Come, command. Get. Come, come here. We'll do that in a second, okay? Just, just chill. Just chill. What I need you to do instead... Oh, we can't grab that yet. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not waste the day. What I was, what I was, what I was going to say was... When I get, I got a comment talking about progression, and it's something I, I want to talk about now. Because in previous Pikmin games, there was, there was a set way in which you could progress, a set way in which you could get new Pikmin. I'm going to get out blues, uh, blues and science, <laughs> blues and ice. And in this game, there really isn't. Like, the, there are a couple ways with which you can get new kinds of Pikmin. We saw up there, you can get blues that way. Uh, I think we found, like, two or... Th we found three places where you can get them. And that's... There are other caves where we've gotten them. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, we could probably get them in, like, five different locales. I like that. That's, that's an awesome way of doing it. It ensures that every playthrough is a little bit different, and the player doesn't bang their head against a wall trying to find things. Okay, those are them. I forget if they can fight, so I'm just gonna... Oh, they can definitely fight. Okay, that means the Ice Pikmin are defenseless here. I didn't lose anybody. That's good. Uh, I do actually have a goal of, of farming more Pikmin, and I haven't focused on it that much because, I mean, I, I can only farm two kinds of Pikmin at the moment, but I, I suppose I should probably do that. Okay, you're that. Ochi's defenseless here. What am I looking at? Oh, it's just a treasure. Pearly Clam Clamp. And I, I do like, I think that's a leg up over previous Pikmin games. Really? Really? I whistled them like 50 times. <sighs> Come on. I suppose I should hold it. Yeah, poor little Pikmin. If only there was something they could have done. A warning that they could have heeded. <laughs> And, okay, let's, let's just kill this before I say anything further. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, that happened. We'll deal with that in a moment. Can I freeze this? A hundred, I cannot freeze this. Go, Blues! What? Why did they come back? Pikmin are acting very strange right now. I don't understand why. Didn't have that much health. I cannot swarm ice onto that. Gonna have to wait until past the midday. That's weird. The swarm mechanic is not quite working as it should. And Molly's attacks weren't that great there. Uh, how many? If I can go to my pack... I have seven sprays. I don't necessarily need more, but at the same time, one, two... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ice, 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 Uh, can we move our base? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw... I keep doing that. I need clench protection, as other... Uh, some other games do it. Oh, you can dig that, too. You are a yellow Pikmin. Can we somehow turn this into a base? I wonder... <laughs> Oh, there, there's the sword. I was like, where did that go? Okay, we have this, and thankfully... That's uh, Pikmin Carrot. That's the wrong button. One. Poof, just, just one. Okay. Thankfully, I saw this last episode. Or, it wasn't last episode. It was a few episodes ago that I, I saw this base. And now we have it. And with the water being there, can you guys come back? Come on. Come on. With the water being here, what I think I'm going to do is place one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Uh. Oh, we can just kill it while it's in its thing. Okay. 
Well, uh, cool. I didn't think you were back, but you are here, and I don't think you're back. I think you're just here now. Uh, let's build that bridge. Now that we can. We couldn't have built it from the other side, uh, unless... Unless the, the tide was down, which is about to go down. Oh, I was like, what is happening? I've never actually seen that animation happen, because I've always been elsewhere. Uh, again, we have a- we have a goal. We have a goal to farm some Pikmin, and I think we're going to make that happen. White- or, uh, Ice Pikmin really can't do much damage. Yeah, they, that's their thing, is they don't do as much damage as other types. That- that I think confirms it. Or maybe it's to plants? I doubt it's to plants. I mean, the amount of times we've watched uh, them try to take down a thing of ice and it takes forever does lead me to that conclusion. Okay, uh, you get back here. We are we need to get that. I'm not sure if we can get it with the Pikmin we have at the moment. I might have to send Ochi back to the base. I also should probably start multitasking, but at the moment, I only see really one, one good path forward, and I don't want to split my crew to get it. Uh, although, that said, command... <laughs> Go to base... There will be Pikmin joining you in a moment. I'm going to have to set blues on that. I'm not going to swarm it. Okay, Aristocrab. We're going to fight you. Let's go. Kill this one first. He still doesn't see us. We're in his blind spot. Wait for that to go down and... Go. Go. Freeze him. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job. Great job. All right. And then the blues are smart and go after the water traps. Good on you, blues. I feel like that encounter could have been a lot more difficult, but we got lucky and they just didn't see us. Okay, Ochi's back at base. Um, I'm going to have him get yellow Pikmin out and then I... Sick. And then I am going to split the party. In fact, I almost wonder if I... Okay, good. The tide's down. Okay, I know exactly what Ochi's gonna do. We're gonna leave Jeff here. And Jeff is going to go into the cave in a moment. Or maybe we do that... We're gonna do that at the end of the day. I, that makes the most sense, I think. Let's, for now, just kind of pillage this. Uh, because as soon as I go into the cave, I'm gonna come out and it's gonna be evening anyway. So, rather than be greedy, unless I find another cave, then I'll try and go down... I'll try to get two. Oh, that they're gonna... Some of them are gonna be done with that. Okay. Uh, Ochi, uh, we're gonna use the go here mechanic, and go there, just out of aggro range of whatever enemies are still there. Switch to Ochi. There aren't any Pikmin back yet, but lo and behold, there are, making my comment completely useless. I need more than seven, though, so Jeff is gonna do his thing while we wait on that. I believe... Oh, you're... Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Okay. You're also dead. So we are okay. I got this the other day, but I think I went into a cave. Do I hear Pikmin dying? No. I think I went into a cave, and I spent enough time gone that it went back to where I I first found it. Which is, you know, that's, that's fair. I, I kind of asked for that. Uh, Jeff is going to take care of this ice and then also these resources. Uh, and then... Ochi is going to take care of the watermelon and also the Statue of Liberty, which is <laughs> two sentences, which is a sentence I don't think I've I ever imagined myself saying. I th uh, probably a few more. Yeah, I think 15 is probably what's going to take. Okay, Jeff, you're dealing with that. Switch back. And we're going to take... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I got my 20. Go to, where's the Statue of Liberty? Is it there? No, it's there, it's there. Go there. Switch. And now we can actually make use of multitasking. Yay! I really didn't multitask as much as I should in this Let's Play. It's fine, it's fine. I don't really know why I'm taking care of these, but they're here, and 
I would be remiss if I didn't destroy everything in my path. That is part of my manifest destiny. Uh, you deal with that. I kind of want ice at the moment. You guys deal with this. Just get it done. And oh, they're waiting. Oh, my Pikmin 2 spray farming heart is so happy to see that the Pikmin are waiting. Also, I'm a god. I'm just a god. Straight up. Not philosophically, not hypothetically, not virtually. I am a god. Let's go get the melon, which is that way. Yes, it's that way. Grab the melon, and then we'll switch back to Jeff. Again, I haven't been multitasking as much, and I don't know if it's... I think part of it... And this honestly is um, one of my gripes with the game. I don't think this should have been the case. I don't like that I'm capped to what Pikmin types I can take out. I don't get the purpose of that, especially when I'm constrained by... Uh, when I'm constrained by how many Pikmin I can have out. Like, I can take out 70, and that's a limiting factor, but I also can only take out three different kinds. I don't quite get the methodology with that. I think it, go it runs a little bit counterintuitive to what Pikmin is about, which is managing resources. And they're saying, like, it's not even managing resources, it's just saying, hey, if you're smart enough to, uh, to allot yourself a certain amount of Pikmin, you're not going to be rewarded for it. And if anything, you're gonna, you have multiple roadblocks here. I don't know, that might just be me being petty. Which is, you know, it. I, I am often petty about stuff like this. But I, I wish that there was maybe a mode to not constrain Pikmin. Okay. Uh, we have these. We have the bridge built? Question mark? Like, I'll actually put the yellows away at this point. I don't need them. Uh, we will accelerate this, though. And we're going to accelerate this. And then I'm going to put the L's away, take out blues, and we're going to split the party. And go across the bridge. And go under the bridge. And I, I have everybody, or I have both my captains. So I can make that work. Oh, it's a Maui statue! <laughs> that was such a great part of Splatoon. It's not alive, is it? Because this kind of looks like a little boss platform. We're good. We're fine. It's like a giant man. That is insane. What if giant men existed? That would also be equally insane. Okay, I'm glad this is like a little dead end. It's not, I mean, it's not a dead end. But it's like, we did this, we're good. Now we can move on to the cave. Uh, let's, let's just do some cleanup. Grab the pearly clam clamp. I know. Calm down. There. Chop him. Bite him. Eat him. That's, uh, that's... Having a Pikmin that is effectively a spicy spray, or a bitter spray, sorry, is weird when it comes to farming Pikmin. But farming Pikmin, I, I was going to mention it uh, in, like, the preamble, in the routine, the morning routine. Farming Pikmin doesn't quite make as much sense anymore, considering we can only farm three kinds of Pikmin. And I think that's why I'm just not doing it as much. It doesn't feel as important. Ooh, can we grab that? Uh, deal with this, please. And then we'll go... Let's see. The comment said, I can't... I can't go into... Uh-oh. Okay, that's what I thought. Get out of the way! How did they... How did I not lose a Pikmin there? Go, 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 go! Okay, that didn't jump out until I, you know, was on top of it. I, I'm not going to blame myself on that one. But why was it here? Is this like... Oh, it'd be so cool if I could jump in here and it would be like... Oh, never mind. There's a reason there's something here. Okay. Probably should have paid attention to my treasure gauge. Beautiful. Uh, sunset something, I think that's called. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but I think mangoes are... Sunset Sky? I might be thinking of Xenoblade with the Lemonade Sky, which is an item. I don't have time to deal with that. Yeah, I don't have time to deal with that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get that in and go into the cave. I'm going to monitor... That's the wrong button. 
Unpause. Where is it? They're there. I guess it works. Okay, I, I was worried that they were going to be called back. Come on, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Please, please, I don't want to end the day. Ooh, I have an idea, though. Enter! <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take the gamble that, <laughs> that the three seconds that I'm not entering aren't going to bring up the countdown. So, let's go in. And then it'll be waiting for us right next to base when we come out. Yeah. Oh, we come out of the entrance. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Sub-Zero Sauna. The temperature keeps dropping the further I dive underground. It's as if I'm in a sauna, but the air is stiflingly cold instead of hot. My spacesuit protects me, but the Pikmin keep shivering. I wonder if there's a way I could warm them up down here. And I assume it's going to be fire and ice that are recommended. Sub-Zero Sauna. Water and ice, but it shows red P Pikmin in the thumbnail. We're, so we're probably going to be getting them in there. But what I'm going to do is, for the first time, I think, I'm going to shave these numbers down, and I'm going to take a certain number of reds. Going against the game's better judgment, I'm making an executive decision. <laughs> 